Hey, I'm Kenneth Weidstow. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photo chats, my Leica talk, all things Leica. So today I'm going to talk about, this is a quite mighty camera. This is the Leica CL with the ill-fitting case, because I think they want you to put this through this hole in the case and then zip around it, but I don't like keeping a case on when I use a camera, so I never do that. So I just kind of half zip it. But the Leica, Leica CL with a 40 millimeter, this is my recommendation for a very affordable Leica, a better viewfinder than the Barnack Leicas, less expensive than the Leica M's, and for eyeglass wearers, I can see the whole 50 millimeter frame. And I can see the whole 40 millimeter frame. It actually has a 40 millimeter on it. I can see the whole 40 millimeter frame. It's also got a frame for 50 if I put a 50 on it. And it has a frame and frame lines come up if I switch to a 90. And so I often will carry just this. This in one pocket, this in my other jacket pocket. And those two together, you have a great little combo of a 40 and a 90. And you can do a lot with that. And I'm a fan of the sideways hanging CL, just like the Leica M5 had the side lugs. And a friend of mine sold me this. He, his mother used to use it, and I think she worked for the press. And he came to my studio one day and says, hey, my mom had a little Leica, are you interested? So he sold it to me. And it's one of those ones that I don't take out as much as I would like to, because I pick up the M3 or the M6 or I pick up a different one because it's in front of me and this one always is in front of me but the simplicity of this and the viewfinder that lets me see I can really see the viewfinder through with my glasses without any problem all of the uh, Leica M's I have to put a diopter on and then I have to lift my glasses up because then I can see it with the correction of the diopter but I can't see the whole frame otherwise the viewfinders are so big, but I can't see the frame lines unless I remove my glasses so I can get closer. But on this, I can keep a little bit away and I can still see the whole 50 and 40 millimeter frame. And then certainly when I drop the 90 on, I can certainly see that it's a smaller frame inside. And I would recommend that for a simple, simple camera. If you are looking to shoot a camera that has a meter, both the M5 and the CL have a meter in them. I never put batteries in either of those because for me, I just shoot all of my Leicas with Sunny 16 and I can guess the exposure outside. It's the same every day and I can guess the exposure inside. It's as wide open as you can get it and as slow as you dare. That's it. So I'm a big fan of not needing to have meters in my rangefinder cameras and my mechanical cameras. This doesn't need a battery except for the meter. The lens and the, the aperture and the shutter are all completely mechanical. And I like that about that. I like the simplicity of not being battery dependent. And when it comes down to it, it's a very affordable system. You can also get a Minolta CL even the Minolta CLE comes with a 28 millimeter viewfinder, so you can even shoot wider. This doesn't have a 28 millimeter viewfinder, but it does have, I did get a Minolta 28 millimeter with this from that same sale. I ended up with that 90, the 40, and the 28. But the 28, you don't really see the whole frame. And you could probably guess what a 28 sees. I'm used to shooting a 28, so I probably could guess it. But the idea is, there's also the Minolta versions, which some people consider even better quality than the Leica version. Obviously, Minolta, you may not have known this, but Minolta and Leica work together to make this camera. So that's why it's a little bit less expensive. And certainly Leica was involved with it, but Minolta worked and they made both the Leica CL and the Minolta CL CLE. And those are available and they may be about the same price, but they're all less expensive than the Leica M and still highly recommended. They're smaller, so their rangefinder distance is a little closer together. So some people say they're not as accurate for telephoto lenses, but if you're using that 40 or you put uh, that 28 on, 
you're certainly going to be okay. And if you don't have glasses, some people say without glasses, you can see the whole frame line outside of the frame lines, and that's closer to a 28. But because I do wear glasses, and I don't have a diopter for that, I'll just stick with the 40 and the 90 for the most part. And then the 28 will work on a, one of the Leica bodies. All right, that's today's photography talk. If, hey, if you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support it, the Patreon. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back next time. We'll talk more Leica. As always, here's to good light.